Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. This video that you guys have been asking me to do has really weighed heavily on me. Um, basically, I know so much about NBA Live 19 that it's hard for me to talk without giving away some of the details that are in the game that I shouldn't be talking about. Now, the biggest thing on everybody's radar right now is that Females are able to be created inside of NBA Live 19 as well as play in the streets against the males. Now, this is the first time that this has happened in any type of, you know, male, female, next gen video game, right? Now, even in games like UFC where there's men and women in the game, yet you can't fight each other. It's against the rules. But in basketball, there's always female ballers out there trying to break some ankles or, you know what I'm saying, sauce up a dude here and there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys the trailer if you haven't seen it already because i know that this video will probably reach a couple people that aren't on twitter as much don't read a lot of articles so let's go ahead and hop into the trailer finally around 11 12 years old i was like i think i'm gonna be over six foot i should probably play basketball back in the booth of the tragedy and switch up the team at the magic again told all you haters i'm in it to win it way back when them losers were letting me in i think playing street ball has definitely helped my game always had basketball in my blood. First time I would go, I would get picked last, and then by the next time, I would be picking the team. So I think it's just about being allowed to play and being open to it. Allen Iverson is the reason why I wear number three. Wore his finger band sleeves, everything. I mean, you know, maybe a little braids as well. The style of street ball is, is everything. You have to be stylish to feel good, to play well, and to look the part. I mean, you can't walk up and look a hot mess. You're not going to get picked for any team. I think street ball has developed, you know, our culture and the way that the game is played even now at a professional level. You have to have a little bit of creativity. Everything is not going to be scripted. I think just visibility has helped our game so much. I hope to make it better and leave it better than when I came into it. Now I know the first thing you guys are probably thinking, iPod, why didn't you do a reaction? I mean, this news is about a week old, so I'm bringing it to you with a uh, a refreshing like view of it because I actually want to deep dive into all the info regarding the creation of females in the game, as well as speak all facts when I talk about this because a lot of people, you know, you, you guys have been watching my videos. You know that I made a video talking about how a female should be on the cover. Um, I told you guys that we should create females in the game. We should have the one and have the female go into their, my career and everything like that. But EA didn't even have to listen to me. They were already thinking about it. They were already ahead of the curve as far as bringing females into the game and creating a space where female gamers, the community of female gamers out there, no matter what the what your ethnicity is, any female baller, that's all females across the board, are able to get in the game. Now, remember when, you know, EA used to, you know, it's in the game. Like, remember that? Remember when that was a thing? Well, guess what? Females, guess what? You're in the game. So let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about all the pros of bringing female uh, creations to NBA Live 19. Now, we are going to talk about the cons. And we'll talk about that probably around like, I was a maybe the eight minute mark. Uh, who knows? I'll just, I'll just ramble until then. So creation of females. Very, very dope concept. The reason why I say that is I know a lot of female gamers out there that play sports games and for them to play sports games, they always have to use a male or they try to do as much as they can to make their character look as feminine as possible when it's a male character. Now, I remember when GTA first came out, right? And GTA with online was real big, but you had the option to create female characters. Now, don't get me wrong. There were a lot of dudes out there catfishing and stuff like that, creating female characters, but on the mic, there was a whole dude. But, you know, that's just giving you guys variety within the game. You know what I mean? So for female gamers, sports gamers to come over, 
I don't think that I will see one female gamer come to NBA Live 19 and play with a male character. Now, I'm going to tell you why. This is the first pro on the list. All female characters will play like male characters, which means it will be an even playing field. So if you create a 6'8 female and I create a 6'8 male, we both will be able to do some of the same dunk packages. We'll be able to do other things except the, you know, weight transfer of things. Like, So think about it like this. The lowest point that you could put a female for the shortest and, you know, uh, lowest uh, weight, I believe, is 135 pounds. Ladies, y'all will be able to look petite, plump, whatever you want to call it. Y'all won't look all bulky and muscular if you don't want to look like that. You can look petite in the game. You don't have to worry about having 800 different, you know what I'm saying, cuts in your arm and all that, broad shoulders all over the place. You don't got to worry about that. So female characters will have the option to cut their weight down. Now remember, weight does come with its advantages and disadvantages. So if you are a smaller weight, you guys know that they've put in real player motion. They've put in one-on-one -on -one off ball uh, control so if you're guarding a dude and he may be like a shooter or something like that and your weight might not be too like high like maybe like 180 if it ain't up there and you like about like six five yeah you gonna get body so make sure you you work on your weight distribution and stuff like that you know what I'm saying now I I can see that as a con because I know a lot of female players will want to be petite so it's kind of like a semi-con, right? Semi-con. Not, not like a major con, but like a semi-con. But the pro is, you're still in the game. Now, let's check this out. Candace Parker, right? Love Candace Parker. I, I yell her name every time I'm using her, right? So, basically, in the game, they have created something called icon abilities, right? Now, we can deep dive into that more later down the road. But what I can tell you is, they have certain icons such as Candace Parker... And Allen Iverson, right? Now, Candace Parker and Allen Iverson, they would have some of that slasher type of ability within their icon tree, right? So if you're creating a character and you want to play like Allen Iverson, you can choose to play like him or you can choose to play like Candace Parker, which has just a little tweak in her icon ability opposed to Allen Iverson. Because guess what? Allen Iverson is more of a ball handler and slasher opposed to Candace Parker being some more of a slashing shooter or post player. You know what I mean? That can maybe hit the three a little bit. But the, the premise is still a slasher. So when you're creating your female character, you will have options in different heights, different you know positions and stuff like that so you won't be pigeonholed to creating a point guard you won't be pigeonholed to just creating a shooting guard just creating a small forward just creating a power forward just creating a center you have a wide variety of what you want to make when you're making your character now second pro you will be able to play online with everyone there will not be any mode in nba live 19 online that you won't be able to play with your female character. So, when you create your character, you'll be able to go into modes like the streets. You'll be able to go to live run. You'll be able to go to live events. And other modes, too. Yeah, almost, almost slip right there. So, next thing. The third pro. The third pro is, if you drop any dude off, you're going to be able to talk the most stuff. Period, point blank. If you posterize somebody with a female character, and that's it's a dude you posterize, I want to see the clips. Send me all the clips. <laughs> that's all I'm saying, man. That's the third pro. Now, what's next on the list? NBA Live dev team has been working to redesign all of the clothing within the game. Because if you remember... Last year, we didn't have female characters in the game. So now that we do have female characters in the game, clothes have to fit different on different character builds and different character sexes. So when you have like a bait tee or something like that, of course, you know, you're going to have your, you know what I'm saying, your, your bosom out, you know what I'm saying, your breasts. So now we have clothing designed for females as well as other 
like exploding customized options such as scanning your face, such as picking different presets for your face, such as different hairstyles for females. This is like a whole new library added on top of everything that's been going on. You know what I mean? So when I say that new clothes and everything are coming and being redesigned, just know that different accessories and stuff like that will be coming down the line soon, maybe next year game, maybe this year. We never know. You know what I'm saying? So think about it like this, right? You know how you never seen shirts and skins for NBA Live like series up until this year we still don't have it? Just know as they work on that stuff there for the males, females, you might be able to get some like, you know, what's them uh, Nike sports tops and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Where you got your belly out and stuff like that. That stuff would be dope for women to be wearing in the game, but... Before we get to that point of having customizable undergarments and stuff like that, that you can wear just to the uh, the streets, got to work on the male skins first. That's the that's the wall that they have to break through in order to get females that customized option. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the face scanning, right? So basically, when you coming into the game, you know, everybody was probably thinking like when they seen the trailer, oh, okay, cool, create a female. Pick a, pick a different face or something like that. Nah. The app that they will be dropping for scanning faces will work with males and females. They said 100% this app will work. As well as when you scan your face, you can pick different skin tones and stuff like that. And presets of hair before going into the game. So, already starting off, before you even get the demo or the game or whatever the case may be, you'll have your face scan inside the game so it'll actually be you i mean i know a lot of people that scan their face into nba live 18 or you know what i'm saying the other game from last year and of course they had to be a male so now you can scan your face in the game and be a total female you you won't have no problem with that which is huge the next thing the face presets i heard there were i can't i can't give you a specific number but i heard there were a few you know what i'm saying a few few different faces you could choose from if you don't like scanning yourself into the video game if you don't want to you know let people know you know what i'm saying what you look like because you might have not done a face reveal or anything like that uh hairstyles a ton a ton of hairstyles are out you know what i'm saying so you definitely gonna want to hit up that shop you know what i'm saying get them hairstyles popping and everything like that um uh, what's the next thing all right, we've come to that point in the video where it's time to talk about the cons of running with a female character in NBA Live 19. The number one and only con. Yeah, I know. You guys are probably like, bro, the only con? What do you mean? It got got to be more, more problems with, you know, the female character. Bro, this is the only con that's in the game. After reading the article, you guys, some people may have caught on. Some people may have not. But this year for NBA Live 19, I'm not saying for the future, but just for this year, the one for the career portion, there will not be a WNBA factor to the one for female characters. So when you create a character and you want to, you know, level up and stuff like that, What's going to happen is as you jump into the game and you hit the streets, it will just take you a little bit longer to reach that level up. If anybody play NBA Live 18, you know what I mean? They had the league and they had the streets, right? You remember that that the little XP rep bar, right? When you had to get 50 level on the streets and you had 50 level in the, in the league. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to combine everything for female characters in just the streets. So... To be honest, it's a big con because you won't be able to play in the WNBA against some of the elite competition and make career videos and stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to make a series with my daughter or anything like that, playing up against some of the best stars. But a pro to that is all you got to do is grind the streets and you'll rep up quick, which means some female characters, if they play a lot, will get the crates that some of us that have to play the league can't get unless we put our, our work in at the league. So, I mean, it's a con to not be able to play my career games, but it's a pro 
when it comes to leveling up, getting crates, being able to buy signature items like how you did last year. Because everybody remembers you had to get to level uh, 50 street. 25 uh, league to buy like certain shoes. Then you had to get 50 street, 50 league to buy certain more uh, items and stuff like that and open up more crates. So definitely not being able to play career is a con, but it's also a pro and an edge on other players that's trying to level up. Now, uh, I think I am done talking about creating female characters. All I can say is, fellas, watch out. You know what I'm saying? The ladies are coming. And they coming on strong. Um, I can't really talk about too much else. I know a lot of people want me to talk about all the leaks that happened via Twitter. Um, basically hit up one of the reps and they told us that was not supposed to happen. So as an EA game changer, I can't really talk about too much stuff that leaked. But it's up to you if you want to go find out that news. You know what I'm saying? And let me know. Maybe we could DM or tweet or whatever the case may be. But right now, I can't make any video content or even acknowledge it because it was a mistake on somebody's part. But what I can say is to you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys drop a like. Leave me a comment below. Ladies, I want your opinion. Let me know what you think inside the comment section about actually being in the game and being able to play up against dudes. And being able to cook them and say, yeah, you just got beat by a girl. And it's 100% facts. I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.